is uh, Bren's friends. It is your boy Z3Gs here, and today we're going to be showing you a little bit of my setup. It's going to be a setup video, you guys. I'm really excited to show you guys uh, this new uh, setup I have for streaming, give you guys a behind the scenes look of uh, how maybe a person that does YouTube slash streaming uh, works and how uh, it's a lot more than work actually I mean it's it doesn't take uh, it's not just with ease it's it actually takes a lot of work and I want to show you guys my setup so we'll take you into my room all right you guys here's my room uh, there's the setup over there uh, let's just get right into it uh, basically this is the monitor I play on uh, I'll kind of try to sit down, I guess, to give you guys a behind-the-scenes look of what it looks like to be me. Uh, that's my Xbox One scuff right there. Uh, that's the uh, scuff I used to play with for Call of Duty Competitive, and I use it just for everything, just because it's the only really good controller I have. Thumbstick's kind of wearing out on it, but that's just what happens when you game a lot like me. Uh, the monitor right there, Asus 1080p LED monitor, that's the one I game on. For console stuff, it's pretty nice. I got it for like 140 bucks online. Can definitely pick that up. It's pretty affordable, to be honest with you guys. Uh, right up here is going to be my Astro A40s. Uh, very, very good headset. The best investment in gaming you can get right here, you guys. Uh, if you guys watched my previous set of videos, you'll see these in there as well. Definitely worth the pickup if you can afford them. Uh, right there is my Astro Mix Amp connected to the A40s, so I can hear the sound through my Xbox One and other games such as like PC games over here and PS3 games. You can use it for everything, which is what I like about the Astro A40s. Moving on here, uh, we got the middle monitor. Uh, this monitor is used for uh, interacting with chat on live streams and controlling like my Twitch channel and stuff like that, so I have a little bit of a closer view instead of looking to towards that third monitor while I'm playing. It's just right there. That's basically all it's used for. Other than that, all the editing and stuff is done on this right here monitor. This is an LE LCD 1080p ASUS monitor. This is for PC gaming and PC editing for videos and streaming and stuff like that. I really don't game too much on this. The only thing I really do is uh, play League of Legends, Minecraft, uh, some Steam games. I'll play some Skyrim on here every once in a while, but I don't have the beefiest of PC specs. So. We'll go through these as quick as possible. Uh, this is the my PC, custom PC. It's got an i7 3.4 gigahertz processor in it. If you guys are interested in specs and stuff, I'll go through them as quick as I can. Uh, I don't remember the model number of the Asus motherboard, but I do have an Asus motherboard, and that's what operates my system. It runs really smooth. Uh, also, it's got a terabyte of storage in there, which is a thousand gigabytes. If you guys weren't one, if you guys weren't familiar with that terminology. Also, it's just got a small box fan back there, a tiny one. I don't have water cooling in it. That's just too much to handle for me for what I use this for. Also, uh, it's just a Coolmaster case. It's just blacked out. It's just Coolmaster on the front. Really slick. I like it. Simple, plain. Doesn't have LEDs popping out of it everywhere, which is fine. I don't mind people that have them or don't have them. Honestly, I would like to have them, but this is perfectly simple for me. And then it does have a GTX 620 GeForce graphics card which is crap to be honest with you it's like a hundred dollar graphics card but I don't really play games too much on my PC uh, it's just basically used for streaming and uploading YouTube videos for the most part and just obviously like your internet usage and stuff like that uh, moving on here to the keyboards uh, and the mouse and the headphones and all that stuff it's all Razer uh, this is the Razer Deathstalker soft touch keyboard the green LEDs on it I really love this keyboard no complaints about it, but I really want to move on to the Black Widow just because it's a mechanical keyboard and I really do like the clicky sounds on them and it just looks a lot slicker and uh, I don't know, I just feel like I would like the Black Widow a lot more. Uh, this is the Razer Abyss. This is just a simple mouse, $35 online I got it for, really cheap. Uh, this is about 75 bucks online, the Razer Deathstalker. Very nice keyboard and mouse. I don't have any issues with it. I really do enjoy Razer products. So I have the Razer Krakens as well over here. I use these for listening to music. I used to use them for PC gaming a lot, but it's just easier for me to use my Astros for everything because it's all plugged in to my computer anyways. So I really don't switch them out too much, but I do use these for listening to music quite a bit. Uh, next to those are the Beats Audio Studio Edition. 
Uh, these are the first studios, I think, that came out. But uh, they're out of batteries. I really don't use them that much. They kind of broke, honestly. I stepped on them one time, and boom. <laughs> but honestly, they have the same exact sound quality. I'll be 100% real with you. These ones are 80 bucks. These ones are 300 bucks, And these ones sound exactly the same. But it's up to you guys which headphones you like. I like all of my headphones I used. I used the Triton 720 Pros before these. I gave those away to a buddy. But, um... Moving on here, it's kind of a messy desk, but I'll clean it up later. Um, right here, we got my games. If you guys want to pause the video and scroll, uh, that's fine by you. Uh, I just have all the Call of Duties, Destiny pre-order, limited edition, and then some other games for PS3 and the Xbox One. Right here, we got uh, some PlayStation 3 controllers. Right here is my custom one that my friend made me. Really appreciative of that. It's really cool. Also, I got the old HDP VR there, what I used to use for recording and stuff like that. I used a converter box, if you guys can see it right there with all the cords and stuff. Just a hassle, but I did what I needed to do until I could afford newer equipment. And over here, I'll show you guys my actual uh, Elgato. It's kind of hiding behind all these cordage and stuff. Just hiding right back there. HDMI in and out. Very nice, very easy to use. Also, um, while we're at it, uh, I'll show you guys, actually, my webcam right here. It's my old webcam, the uh, Logitech C70, I think it's called. I don't remember exactly, but it worked really good for the time being until I got the uh, C90 right over here, which is on the mount. You can see all the posters and stuff on the wall behind me. It's got the MLG poster, a couple Destiny posters and stuff like that. But moving on to the front of the setup here. Uh, I got my Blue Yeti microphone. It's what I use to record commentaries with and also live stream record my voice with. It's got the pop filter on there for commentaries and stuff like that. Also, a new addition to the setup, uh, just a small desk lamp so that when I'm streaming at night, you guys can see my pretty face. Uh, right here, I'm sure you guys know what these are. The Xbox One on the right, PlayStation 3 on the left. And the newest addition to the setup right here is the desk. Uh, just a $120 $100, desk. Super simple. I put it together yesterday. It took me like four hours to put all these cords and set up and stuff like that all together, but well worth it. I'm really happy how it turned out, and uh, I've hit the cords pretty good. There's not too much sticking out everywhere like there normally is, but yeah, you guys, uh, that's my setup in a nutshell. Didn't want to make the video super long like every other setup video. Just wanted to get you guys the main point out there and uh, how uh, it looks to be me behind the scenes and stuff like that so i hope you guys really did enjoy this video if you did i would like you to leave a thumbs up and also comment down below a link to your setup video i really would like to see your guys setup videos i would uh i love watching setup videos to see where you guys progress your setup and maybe started from the bottom and now you're here just kidding but uh, i hope you guys did enjoy this video like comment and subscribe if you guys are new and you want to see videos similar to this one but as always guys this has been your boy izzy 3g's and Brent's friends. We will see you guys later. Peace out.